The Meiko multiplier is a very powerful pressure forming machine. And if you wondered if it would destroy your filaments 3D printed templates or not, this video is for you. Hello, I'm Agustin from Meiko. In this video, we'll explore the benefits of using filaments 3D printing to create thermoforming templates. We are in the Fab Lab and showroom located at Universidad Francisco de Vitoria in Madrid, where some of the best prototyping and manufacturing technologies are used every day. So, let's get started. But first, what is filament 3D printing? Filament 3D printing is also known as either FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling, or FFF, Fused Filament Fabrication. It's an additive manufacturing technology that uses a continuous filament of plastic material to make 3D objects. The process involves melting and extruding the material layer by layer, building the object from the bottom up. Let's talk about the advantages it offers when making thermoforming templates. First, filament 3D printing is one of the most cost-effective manufacturing technologies. This is due to the lower cost of equipment needed. You usually only need the 3D printer, and no extra equipment is needed. Also, the material cost per kilogram is usually lower compared to more expensive materials like resin or powder. Second, it's a clean manufacturing technology. Filament 3D printing generates almost no waste. When properly designed, you just remove your parts from the 3D printer and you can use it straight away on the Meiko multiplier. The third advantage, and my personal favorite one, is that filament 3D printing is perfect for rapid prototyping. With filament 3D printing and the use of our thermoforming machines, like the Meiko multiplier, you can design, manufacture, and test your design in hours instead of days. Now that we know about the advantages of using this technology to make thermoforming templates, let me share some design and manufacturing tips that will help you. Before I jump to them, know that there are some design guidelines that you should always follow when designing for thermoforming. You can find our guide on how to design for thermoforming in the description below or visiting the learn section on our website. Our first recommendation is to use layer heights between 0.1 and 0.2 millimeters when 3D printing. The Meiko multiplier can capture very small details, including the texture of a 3D printed part. If you want to get a smooth surface on your final part, you will need to print your templates with thin layers. Also, using thin layers will improve the demolding experience, as there will be shallower undercuts for the forming material to grip onto. When you design for thermoforming, you should always use a draft angle of at least 5 degrees to achieve the best possible forming results, as well as an optimum template release. However, templates made with filament 3D printing come with a layered surface that makes the molding a little bit more difficult. For this reason, we invite you to either increase the draft angle of your design or sand the template before forming it. Most 3D printers that use filaments come with a standard 0.4 nozzle. If you need to create small templates with high precision, you can use a smaller nozzle. And if you are making large, simple templates, consider using a larger nozzle. Large and hollow templates are prone to deforming when formed with pressure and heat. To increase the template strength, we recommend making them with a 3 to 5 mm shell thickness. Also, consider increasing the top part thickness to match the vertical wall thickness. Look at this example. One of the parts has a thin shell, which deformed during the forming process, exposing the internal infill structure. Talking about increasing part strength, we can't forget about the infill density. We recommend using an infill density of around 25 to 50 percent. Testing is highly recommended, as each material will require a different infill density. We suggest making air holes 
as small as possible, reaching 0.4 millimeters in diameter on some designs. If you are using larger nozzles or composite materials, your 3D printer's tolerances may be affected. For this reason, we recommend testing your 3D printer, nozzle and material together at the same time. Trust me, you don't want to 3D print a large template only to realize the air holes are blocked. If you are forming a complex design, we recommend using a release agent such as dry PTFE spray. Cover all surfaces of the template that will touch the plastic sheet with PTFE spray and then wipe clean all the surfaces so that the template is touch dry. And now the big question, what material should I use? Well, it depends, but if I had to choose just one material, it would be nylon. This material offers high heat deflection temperature as well as a high tensile strength. Carbon fiber composites should also be considered. These materials usually offer a higher tensile strength and temperature resistance, making them perfect for thermoforming applications. Also, they can be easily sanded for a better surface finish. Other materials such as ABS, PETG or HIPS can also be used for thermoforming applications, but testing is highly recommended. Consider that the template's lifespan will depend partially on its material, 3D printing settings and overall design. But one of the main reasons why templates degrade is that the material they are made of has a lower melting temperature than the plastic sheet you are forming on the multiplier. As you can see, filament 3D printing can be easily combined with thermoforming to manufacture parts and molds. If you want to learn more about 3D printing thermoforming templates, I invite you to watch our other videos and also visit the Learn section on our website. You will find links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.